saw this big puffy tooly shouldered shirt and I was like, oh God, I gotta, I gotta do something good with this shirt. Wear dresses and heels. Demand the attention of a main character, you know, feminine woman. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sandra and this channel focuses on fashion, styling, and beauty. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're returning or you're a subscriber, I want to thank you so much and welcome back. A lot of new subscribers found me from the last video I posted. I don't know what side I'm going to put it on, but it was a rich auntie, bougie auntie uh, video that I put out and it was all in fun, you know that rich i think rich auntie or bougie auntie or whatever you would like to call it is all about a state of mind it's about a feeling it's how you feel in your clothes and sometimes you're auntie sometimes you're not but either way the nose is in the air you have a air about you and people notice you you see me that's what it's about you know so that's what that video was about to me it was all in fun a lot of you liked it some of you didn't but it's all good and I just appreciate every person that watched that video um, because that helped my channel get traction. And I'm grateful for all of you that found me. And um, I did put out, when I put out that last video, I did say, you know, if you would like to see another, let me know. And you guys let me know. So here we go. This one is also a bougie auntie, rich auntie video. Um, the same kind of aesthetic in the clothes. I did put something like a BAPS one up in there. Y'all will see that later, but um, it's all in fun and we'll just get right to the video. Wait, before I start, I want to talk about these lips because this people that know me know this is not me. I've been trying to find the perfect red or like close to red for my skin type and I just have not been able to do it. I had the Ruby Woo. It looks okay on me. I've tried the... Uh, Christian Louboutin I I really it was pretty on me but not I didn't like it enough to keep wearing it and now guess what y'all <laughs> this one is called rich auntie I will put the link in the des description box this one to me is more of like a berry than a red it's very beautiful I'm still looking at them when I walk past the mirror I'm like but <laughs> it's okay I like it, but it probably would be special occasion type of uh, red. I, I have it. I'll keep it. I'll try it again. Maybe I'll try it with some dark hair or some brown hair. Maybe I might like it better, but I'm going I'm to keep it. I didn't say. So everything just about this one, I would say 95% of uh, the items are from Shein. So they're very cost efficient. And I think you'll like this one too. But I'm um, starting off with this jacket. This is so gorgeous, so beautiful. When I saw it, I was like, oh, I gotta get that jacket. Look at the bow. The bow on the shoulder, and then it has the little ribbon here that hangs off the shoulder. I didn't wear, I opted not to wear anything under. I just put like a you know, you can buy from Walgreens or you can buy it on Amazon. It's just a sticky tape where you pull them up. That's what I did. And I just uh, closed it. But it's so pretty. And it has a little clasp. That's all. It has no buttons. I don't think these pockets work. The pockets are not functional. Very soft material. Very stretchy material. So I'll say... I got my correct size and I think it fit well, but some people like their clothes a little bit more fitted. So you can even size down if you wanted to, because it has a lot of stretch in it. This is the back. I did look for Shein Tall. I have an extra large in these pants. It has a stretchy material in the back, you know, the bunching. So if you got the hips, it won't have that, that dip in the back because it has the stretch. You can also wear a belt with these. And if you look at the pictures, they're pretty long. I know I can't show how long they are here, but they're pretty long. It wasn't as long as I like my pants to be, but they were not short. Like um, most of the pants that I try and buy from Shein are 
if I don't get the tall, it doesn't look right. And I think if I didn't have the heels on, they would have been exactly where I wanted them to hit, you know. But all in all, I think the outfit was gorgeous. I think it was beautiful, especially with the accessories. You know, I had to be gaudy. <laughs> so I had to find one of these. I thought this was just like, it screamed like you see me. And, and somebody's going to look for sure. But I... I put this necklace on with that pink blazer and the, well, they call it the pants apricot. They look beige to me, but the beige pants and the pink blazer. And then I put this on and it also has earrings to match. So it's the purse. Isn't this so pretty? It seemed like it just all flowed together. Just so girly, so beautiful, so bougie. <laughs> but um, this is the purse that I wore with the outfit. It, it's also the same color to me. Like I said, it looks like it's beige, but it's saying it's apricot or whatever. I'll put all the links in the description box so you can see for yourself. But when I put all the pieces together, I think it went together. It flowed so well and it was just so gorgeous to not have been uh, connected in any way for me to just throw it all together. It just came together so beautiful. And um, let's see, the top is one of the snaps. Well, you know, you twist it or snap it, but it's so pretty. I already have a pair of these. I like them and they're so comfortable that I went back and I got another pair. The first pair I had in white and I believe I wore that in the last haul I did. But these are what they call apricot again. Um, same shoe, hidden heel, comfortable. You know, I wear these with pants mainly because I don't want to have a high, high heel. I'm already tall. I don't need the height. I got it. <laughs> I was born with it. But um, you still just want a little, mm, you know, make your pants and everything look good when you have a heel on. So I always opt for the kitten heel. And I thought these paired well with that outfit. It looks really good. And I was happy on how it turned out. This next piece is a sexy two piece that came as a set. Um, I've seen this before, but not on Shein. I never saw this on Shein. And the pants actually went down over my heel, which was like a, a plus. So the jacket is just the black jacket, but then it has the sheer pants instead of like a slack or a um, stretch pants. It's just all mesh with pearls and rhinestones all over it. It was so beautiful, and I just knew that I had to get this set. Um, this is the jacket. The jacket is just plain. It's, it's plain, one button in the front. The pockets are functional. The back is plain as well. And I think, you know, you can't do too much with this jacket because of what's going on at the bottom. These are the pants that come with the set. So mesh, like I said, all the way mesh. You definitely will need something underneath other than some pentas because everything will be hanging out the back. Um, the jacket is not long enough to cover like just going with the pants and the jacket. You definitely need like some black boy shorts or something underneath just in that space. But it, it, you could do you could do what you want to do. I'm not telling you not to do. But yeah, you're definitely going to see something if you squat or you bend over or something like that. Somebody's going to see something. But this this whole set was just so fire. I had to get it. The um, These are the pants, as you see, totally see-through, but it has like the little, I thought it was rhinestones, but it's just all pearls, black pearls, and then the regular colored pearl. Pants are long enough for, so I'll say they're tall girl friendly. The purse. Now, when I was taking the pictures, if you see the pictures, I'm grabbing it like, I'm holding it like that. I didn't pay attention that they had, let me undo this here. Now that I look back at the, um, once I put the link in the description, I saw that I was doing it all wrong. But that's just tying it up like once you um, put it on, but it actually has, a pearl clasp, it has a pearl one and a gold one. So you can wear either or. And then to close it, you just do it like that. And then you, of course you'll have the pearl handle or the gold handle to wear with 
the outfit. I thought this was so cute and it was like a perfect match to me. I was like, oh, I have to get that purse because it's like, it goes ex to the T with the pants. And then I had to show you what I put on my head. So this is what I wore on my head. Is that not bougie auntie, rich auntie? She's getting out of the back of a Uber X <laughs> or a limo or some kind of a, a Cadillac just to come and pick up her nieces and nephews and take them to Target. But um, this is the, you know, this is the front. You can tell because this part you put on your head and then this lays over top of wherever you want to put it. So you can lay it to the side, you know, to the front. You can cover your eyes, however you want to do it. But this went with that outfit perfectly. And then I just paired it with a pearl necklace and some uh, rhinestone earrings. And then I want to show you the, the heel that I wore with it. These are the heels. They're, of course, short kitten heels. But look at the detail on these shoes. Is that not so beautiful? This shoe went perfect with that outfit. You had to overdo it with the, with the shoes if you were already coming out the house with pants like that. You have to overdo the shoes because they're going to look you up and down. So you got to be on point from top to bottom. You hear me? This outfit is not going to be everyone's taste, but there is a bougie auntie. I know a few that love the glitter, the rhinestones, the golds, the metallics, all the metallics. They're going to pop out in some, some metallic pants, shirt, shoes. They're going to pop out in some rhinestone glitter heads or some um, Nikes with glitter all over them or rhinestones. This is more of that kind of aesthetic, rich auntie. So I, I was on Shein and I saw this big, puffy, tooly shoulder shirt. And I was like, oh God, I gotta, I gotta do something good with it this show so pretty on. So, so, so cute. Um, it's just like the regular t-shirt material but they put the tule on the shoulders and then I paired it with these pants that are like um let me see if I can get them pants are cinched on the sides kind of reminds me of like um I can't think of that material but they're all cinched they're like uh ruffled or cinched in I guess to kind of hide your your stretchy cellulite or whatever <laughs> whatever you got going on is going to help. But these I got in a size regular size large. And they went all the way down to my ankles. They went over my ankles actually. They went on top of the shoe. But they fit very well. I'm usually a size extra large. Again, I'm 5'9". For anyone that doesn't know, I am 5'9". Um, the pants did go over my ankle. And they went right onto the shoe. Just the way I wanted them to look. But... I believe it has like some splits on the sides. Yeah, it also has the splits on the sides there. Very stretchy material. I usually am a, like I said, an extra large. These were a large and I probably, um, well, I was going to say I cut a size down, but that's a lie. I could not have. This is one. the gold shoe I wore with them. It has a big bow on the corner of the side. So, and then look at the heel. But you just, uh, let me see how you do this. It goes this way. And you just put it like that. I thought that was so like, <laughs> I thought this was so, this outfit reminded me so much of Baps. I was cracking up while I was taking my pictures. But it was so cute in the same aspect. It was so cute, but it, it, it had that Baps feel to it. But this is the shoe here, lipstick, credit cards, uh, maybe a tiny little comb or brush, something like that in there. Small purse, but very cute. This is like a going out purse for sure. And it's metal. It has the clasp at the top and I paired it with these gold earrings from Shein. They were rhinestones, but it was gold on the outside. Outfit, this is so like, bougie glamorous here i come see me you gonna see me if you don't want to see me you gonna look anyway 
type of outfit. <laughs> and I actually wore this on my birthday this year. Um, I wore this and I had some heels that I made. Well, the heels, they were just like some regular strap heels. And then I put the tuli over the, the toes, the fuchsia. But this dress, it's hard to show you because of the cutouts in the front and in the back and the zippers. So when you're holding it, you can't really show what the dress looks like. You have to see the pictures to understand how beautiful this dress was. But it's long. Again, I'm 5'9", and this dress covered my foot with the heel on. Beautiful, beautiful dress. I love the color. That is my favorite. Pinks. Light pinks, dark pinks, hot pinks. Pink is me and me is pink. This is the shoe I wore with it. You can't really see because I have like, it's one of those tie up shoes. I got these from Amazon. If they still have them on there, I'll put the link in the description. But it was just a strap heel. That's all it was, a strap tie up heel. And I just took some pink tulle and kind of made it, you know, made a little tulle, uh, what do you call it? Like a tutu on my foot. <laughs> and that's what I wore with the shoe. Although you can't see in this dress, the shoe, but when I, like if I'm walking or something, like what, when I wore it on my birthday and I was walking, you could see the shoe and people would compliment my shoe, but it was really cute together. And I had a purse that was just like, it was, it set it out because it was so different. This is the purse I wore, a big bow purse. Isn't that so cute? It has a zipper. It's a lot of space in here, but it does bunch right here. So <laughs> your stuff is going to be either here or here. And um, I don't think it has any other pockets, but so cute. You can actually take this off if you want to. You don't have to keep that on there and you can just hold it as a clutch. But I wanted to uh, wear it like this so that people could see it was a bow. And I thought this was just so beautiful. And, and it just looks so good with that dress. Something I threw together and at the time I saw the jacket and you know, I built, I built the outfit around the jacket. So this jacket is very thin. It's like a waffle cone type of material, but it's made into a blazer. So this is the back. Like I said, it's kind of thin. It's like a shirt kind of material, but it is made into a blazer. And this is the front. It does not come with this flower. I actually bought this brooch from Shein as well. And I, I just pinned it on the jacket to make it have some pizzazz, you know, to have some, cause it looks kind of boring just like this, but this flower with the outfit really made everything just kind of gel together. The pockets are functional. There's two buttons. This pocket is not functional at the top. But this was a really cute jacket. These are the pants that I wore from Shein. I believe these are a Shein tall. Yes, these are a Shein tall extra large. These were fitted pants, like slacks, but they were fitted. These were very long because I wore some mules with them and they went over my shoe. But long and fitted. No pockets on the back. No pockets on the front, but the belt is adjustable. But this material is so stretchy that I could have wore a large and got away with it. But, you know, and then it has a um, zipper side here. Very this cute. The pants. mule that I wore with it, or what they call them, slides, mules. I call them mules. But isn't this such a classy shoe? This whole outfit to me screamed class. It was so... Uh, far from the, the pink and gold. <laughs> this is the like, purse that I pair with it. This is uh, kind of when I looked at the shoe and then I looked at the purse, I was like, oh, they kind of look alike. It's not though. I think the shoe looks more of like a dark, dark blue, but you really can't tell. The purse is a black. Um, but like I said, you can't tell. Someone has to really be looking hard to tell. It looks good together. Everything gelled together so nicely. And this does have like a zipper on the inside. It does not have a snap or a zipper to close it. But it's, it was just such a cute bag. And then it also has uh, 
one of the long straps for the sides, but I just opted to hold it like this. What I have on. So today I'm wearing all Shein. The shirt is from Shein. This belt is just one of those belts that you wrap around and then wrap back to the front and tie up. The pants are also from Shein. These are the Shein extra large in the side, the tall extra large. Uh, they fit pretty well. And all I did was just pair them back with the shoe I just showed you, the mule, and just threw that on. I'm in the house. But if you've made it to the end, I want to thank you so much. Uh, this was a pretty fun haul. I, I thought this was like a part two to the bougie auntie cute styles. You know, this was all in fun. I really enjoyed doing these two hauls. And uh, let me know which one of the looks in this out in this haul you liked as well. Uh, which one you thought was the best. They're all, I think these were all different types of aunties in this one. But yes, let me know which one you liked the best. Y'all hear that? That is my stomach. I got to finish this. <laughs> that was awful. If you stay to the end, I want to thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe to this channel. I have um, a spring haul that I'm doing and a, also an Amazon haul. So uh, to not miss those hauls, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I post. And again, thank you so much and see you. See you soon.